today I want to talk to you about reputation. And reputation is something that you can't buy. You don't get it by associating with the right people. It's really all about who you are when no one else is looking. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 3, it says, Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them about your neck. Write them on the table of your heart. Because love and faithfulness are really key ingredients in a good reputation. Here's a question. What is it that you're known for? What kind of name do you have? Because God wants you to have a good name, to have a good reputation. And regardless of the past, it can begin fresh today. If anything, I want to be known as a child of God. And I've never met anyone who's been faithful to God to the end, who lived to regret it, to say it wasn't worth it. Why be faithful to the Lord? Why be faithful in relationships? Because I believe it's a blessing that God gives to those in his family. We have been wired to uh, follow after God, to be faithful to him. And I want to encourage you as God is molding a new reputation in your life to allow the spirit to have his way. There seems to be two names that are predominant in the news today, Trump and Clinton. And think about it for a moment and you'll easily realize that their names are connected with their words and their ways. You can't separate them. And it's no different for you and for me. When a person's ways and their words are the same, the fusion is explosive. And God promises a good name, not only with him, but with others. People will know we're Christians, not because we bear the name, but because we live the life. It's the life that earns the name, not the name that creates the life. You see, to call yourself a child of God is one thing, but to be called a child of God by those who watch your life is another thing altogether.